Now, morning, Matt. Are you going to promise us some sunshine this week? Come on, son. <laughs> I think we delivered for you at the weekend, didn't we, really? What a mood booster that was. But yes, more to come through this week. So if you were working and missed out, you will have some of that as well. Out there this morning, lovely bright start. We got to that time of year where the weather watchers are already starting to come in. But here in Herefordshire and across many areas, it's a cold start to the week. Uh, a frost around minus six in parts of Aberdeenshire, minus five in parts of Oxfordshire. Plus five to seven, though, across these western areas. Let's distract ourselves, shall yeah. we, now, with some nice sunny weather. I think Matt can promise us some of that. Morning, Matt. Morning. Good morning. Yes, the fine weekend uh, weather we saw will continue this week. Uh, morning to you. We've got a largely dry week ahead. We'll be one or two isolated showers. But what you'll notice with the sunshine through this week, it is set to become a little bit warmer. Let me just show you the uh, chart which shows how temperatures compare to the average across much of Western Europe. I'll have to show that one later. Uh, but out there at the moment, even though it's going to get warmer, it's a bit of a frosty start this morning. Temperatures are around minus five in parts of Oxfordshire, minus seven in Aberdeenshire. Contrast that with southwest Wales and uh, Cornwall, where we have a bit more cloud around this morning. Uh, very, it was very cold. It was cold where you got up, sorry. Freezing. Oh, it was very chilly. Uh, Matt can tell, he's got a bit of a frosty picture behind him as well, can tell us what's happening. Good morning. Good morning both. I certainly can. I was certainly scraping the car at three o'clock this morning and there's a frost on the ground here in East Sussex at the moment where temperatures for some are around minus three degrees. So it's a chilly start to your week. Uh, another dry start, another sunny start for many, Dan. Very good morning to you, but it's a bit chilly out there. But this week, let's just take a quick look ahead of what to expect. The dry story actually continues. There may be one or two isolated showers, but so few and far between. And what you will notice is things are going to start to become that little bit warmer. If I just show you across Europe how temperatures compare to the normal for this time in the year, notice how the orange and reds, where temperatures above normal, start to uh, push in across the UK and Ireland. We could see temperatures a good five degrees, if not more, above average during the middle part of this week. The chilliest air remains to the south of Europe. So we'll look to be uh, warmest compared to normal across Europe. And that may come as a bit of a surprise to some of you about to step out this morning because it is chilly once again. Temperatures at the moment in the last half hour, minus seven in parts of Aberdeenshire, minus four Edinburgh, Oxfordshire, North Yorkshire, also pretty chilly. But towards the south and the west, it's a different story. Matt has got a lovely picture behind him, but it has been a bit frosty in parts for some people this morning. It has been, Dan. Good morning. Chilly start to the week, but what a start it has been for some of you. This is the view on the northeast coast of Scotland at the moment. There's still a frost around, but temperatures are starting to rise now. Sun getting to work, but the outlook for this week is a predominantly dry one, a predominantly sunny one as well, as you can see from the forecast from each of the four nations here, and it will turn warmer. You can see temperatures breach 20 degrees in one or two spots. One word of caution, though, of course, with that high pressure in charge, a light southeasterly wind, uh, we are expecting in uh, air quality to deteriorate a little bit. Pollution levels will gradually creep up across the UK as we go through the week, shown by the yellow and red colours here on the chart. And that's all, as I said, because we've got high pressure in charge and that south-easterly wind starting to push in. That's how it's looking. Dan, Sally, back to you both.